Oh, tackle. I live. That's a crit too. Are you kidding me? What's up boys and girls today we have some more VGC 21 back to back battles today on the series 7 ladder today we'll be featuring a one time showcase featuring Eric Rios's Registeel team that he used to win the Galar circuit which was a big online tournament in Spain and there's a lot of ways you can set up for Registeel as well as you know just a, a team that just sets up in general it has sword stance it has nasty plot it has calm mind and iron defense a lot of ways to set up it should be a pretty fun team. If you want to go check out the original tweet as well as the poker base, I'll link those in the description down below as well. But it should be pretty fun. We used Bronzong in the last episode. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you already go ahead and check that out as always. And we'll see if Registeel is better or Bronzong is better. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below today's common question of the day, your answer, which is going to be, what is your favorite Reggie? It could be one of the original Reggies, could be Reggie Gigas, or one of the new Reggies. For me, I always has a soft spot for Reggie Ice. Not competitively, it's just like, I don't know, just, I really like Reggie Ice. I don't know, maybe it's design. I just really like it, I think, for some reason. But let me know your favorite Reggie in the comments down below. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a like down below and double check if you're subscribed. But a quick announcement before we get today's video started. I have actually been branching out starting in 2021. I really want to try out new things. And even if they work, even if they fail, I just want to try it out and see how it goes. And currently we have a TikTok where I'm going to be posting my highlights from like streams with like really crazy moments that do happen on stream. And we have a lot of those, so should be exciting. And of course, I do want to try out a subreddit where you can post memes, art, you know, all that kind of stuff. Don't post teams there. I literally have a Discord server down below. You can join our community Discord. We have a team below section. If you want to help on your team, go check it out there. But yeah, I will be trying out. And if you do want to join us, make sure you do. I will be reviewing uh, anything on the subreddit. Going to be on stream. And make sure you also check my Twitch channel, by the way. I am streaming a lot more often now, especially since I'm currently on break. But make sure you go follow those in the description down below. But yeah, let's get started with today's video. We got Bob number 98 on ladder. Interesting team. Reg Steel, the Galarian Moltres, Reggie Eliki, Incineroar, Dusclops, and Metagross. So unfortunately, I don't think Reggie Steel will really be able to shine in this game because I don't think Reggie Steel is that great. There's a Clops, which kind of walls basically with Haze, especially. It just walls Reggie Steel. So I don't think that's a good uh Pokemon to have. Um Landers is probably my best lead against their team. Uh, the problem is that setting up the Landers is a lot easier said than done against their their team. I think Grimmsnarl plus Landers is okay here as a lead. Yeah, I definitely bring Rotom Heat. And then I guess the question is I want Reelaboom, which I don't really like in the matchup. I think Feeny is better. I gotta really watch out for Klops though. Klops is a really annoying Pokemon for this team overall because uh, the only ways you can really deal with Klops on this team is like setting up with like Calm Mind and Nasty Plot, but that takes so much time usually. So usually you have to ignore the Klops, which is kind of hard to do in some certain situations, but we'll see. Klops Metagross hard lead. Wow. All right. Since Grimstone Landers. I wish I had self swagger. I would swagger my uh, Landers slot right here. <laughs> uh, this is a weird spot. I guess I could taunt. I want to stop the Trick Room and go Rotom Heat. Probably my best play. I don't want to take a Hailstorm if that's going to come out right off the bat, and I want to see if it does. I feel like it's Steel Spike more likely, but we'll see. They're going to Dynamax the Metagross. Is it Hailstorm is my question. Because Hailstorm really makes... Hailstorm or Rock Fall, that's a problem. I got to get the, this mind me <laughs> this mind game right. Because if it is Rock Fall, it's a lot easier to handle. But if it's the Hailstorm, I think it's going to be harder. So we taunt the Dusclops. This prevents it from doing anything. The problem is I'm losing Grim immediately to Steel Spike. Yeah. And I didn't have a plan. It was either let them get Trick Room up and do that, or give them the Steel Spike and give them Grim. Like, I had to give them Grim, or I gave them Trick Room. And both are not great answers, but I'd rather take... I'd rather them take Grim. Oh, that's not pretty, and I can't even go top of Feeny. So I'll go Landorus here. 
I guess maybe I shouldn't have led Lando. Maybe Ronan Heat was like a fine lead because I don't think they had much that could handle it. I thought Lando was the better lead because I thought setting up a sword stance would have been nice, but maybe overall it was leading uh, Rotom Heat to Wisp. Yeah, they didn't exactly have the best Rotom Heat answer too. Should have led it. I think then they might be Rock Ball. I actually can't tell. I'm gonna Wisp. I think Bob's is gonna do whatever it could switch out into like Intimidate user, which is fine as well. Yeah, Incineroar is okay. I'm still gonna try to whisk the Metagross because that's a that's the Pokemon I want to target. Did they max guard? No, they don't, so I get the Solar Sense off. It depends. If they have Hailstorm, it's annoying. But if they don't, it's fine, I think. I do hit the Whisk, which is really good, okay. That's a burn Metagross. It is Rockfall, okay, so that's a, that's way easier to handle. That's way easier to handle. So Rotom takes some chip, all good. And now I can nasty plot up with the Rotom and I can sword stance with the Lando once again. I, or do I quake immediately? The problem is I don't like quaking here because A, they could switch out Incineroar into Lando if they have it. B, I'm a little bit like, these Intimidates are gonna stack up over time, especially with like parting shot stuff. So like, I wanna make sure that I'm having offensive pressure against them. So I think sword stance is a better play, even though I don't like it. I could be risking like flare blitz stuff, but like I think I have to at this point. So we'll plot up here and we'll go for the thing. The good part is we still have Dynamax. The bad part is uh, the... it's still a very awkward spot. I think leading Ronum Heat would have just, I guess, unless their ally switch clops, because I would whisk the Metagross and taunt the clops anyway. But I think that would have been a risk I would have had to take. A Max Garbage Metagross, which is actually really solid for me. Because I'm going to be able to get a Sword Stance and a Quake off. I guess they're worried about me going for Earthquake and flaring with Rotom Heat? Question mark? I thought they would want an ex extra boost, but this ends up working fine. So they're going to parting the Lando, I'm assuming. Yep, they parting the Lando. I got Clops with uh, Quake into... Uh, cause I don't know if they have Lando in the back and they go into Lando or if they're going to go out into Clops and double out into like Lando, which I think both would be very good plays from them. We are going to see that the Clops comes out. It could be Haze. But I feel like, with, I feel like it's more likely Boldos. Boldos, Nightshade, I guess I get a Haze, maybe Helping Hand, Paints, but I don't know. Clops runs too many moves. I think if I want a Dynamax though, it's now because I get as much. I think I get the most damage out of the turn. They probably switching out Metagross to Instant, maybe. Uh, let's just go straight for the damage and see how it goes. At least I'm able to get massive damage off. I might be able to knock out with uh, Sand too. They don't switch into like any of their Intimidators, which I think is a massive mistake here. But I guess maybe because they're in oh, are they allies? Are they ally switch Metagross? I've seen ally switch Metagross on ladder before. If it's ally switch clubs, that's completely fine. Okay, that's fine. I get extra chip into the uh, dust class for free, basically. So I think that's okay. Like, I'll get the knockout. Thankfully, I didn't airstream because I almost considered airstream to cover for the Lando. That ends up working perfectly. So I'm able to get rid of their Metagross right there. I'm actually very surprised they went for the ally switch with Pops there. I thought their only hope was getting Trick Room up. And getting like a Timnate Mon. T-Bolt into their Clops. Solid damage. And a para. Jeez. That's good because it looks like it's a 2 of KO. And I think I definitely knock out the Dust Clops with an Airstream. And yeah, I can afford to airstream now. Ultras comes out. Okay. I guess maybe they didn't want to trick him up. I mean, at this point, uh, looking really bad for them. Airstream in a Moltres and T-Bolt in the Clops. Looks like a seal here. As it covers like a bunch of plays I can go for. <laughs> Ally switch again? So be it. <laughs> that is fine. Are they max speed Moltres? Uh, they could have, I guess, flinched for Fiery Wrath, but that's fine. 
because I'll get an airstream off into their clops. So I no longer had to worry about like any pain splits on a trick room. So clops goes down. Awesome. And then Thunderbolt knock out the Moltres if we are able to connect through. And if we don't, it's not even that bad. But we do hit through. So we are able to get T-Bolt off into the Moltres. Moltres is able to go down perfect. And then afterward, we are pretty safe here. Uh, because Zinsen will just go down to Quake. So, yeah. I guess that's why they didn't want to max with the... I guess that's why they, want, they didn't want a Trick Room. Because of the fact that they had Moltres in the back. But yeah, Lando pressured too much. Uh, luckily, they... The only thing that would have been awkward about this matchup is if they... Uh, with the lead, I still think the lead was bad for me. I think I should have led Rotom. Was the fact of... Do they have... The problem is, do they call the switch in Rock ball turn one i think that was my biggest fear and i just don't know how i would cover that realistically that was like the only fear i really had going into that turn one but luckily yeah we were able to pull through fortunately i think overall we were getting that wisp off was huge thankfully they didn't ally switch imagine they ally switch on that one turn oh wait they couldn't ally switch right because i yeah because i taunted their dust clops turn one thankfully so they couldn't ally switch ever uh, they could have protected Max Guard in the Metagross the turn before on the turn I tried to Wisp when they switched an instant, and that could have actually been a game changer. Solvis Lando, Life Orb Moltres, Magnet Regieliki, or Sash Regieliki actually, a Guab Berry Incineroar, a Violet Dusclops, Shadow Sneak, Ally Switch, Pain Split, Trick Room, <laughs> and the Weakness Policy, Metagross with Rock Slide. Yeah, overall, very solid game. I still think lead-wise, I think next time I'm leaning Ronum Heat for sure. I guess the only problem with leaning Ronum Heat is Ally Switch turn one, which they did have, and then I got to play that mind game, and unfortunately, I just have no answer, unfortunately, because I can't fake out the clops to stop the Ally Switch. I don't know. I think I would have had to do that. Thankfully, uh, I guess technically the lead did work out. It just would have been more punished if they rock followed, but I don't know how I would stop that realistically. But yeah, we'll move on to another game and we'll see how the team continues. Maybe we bring Registeel. All right, we got Cam number 94 on ladder. Ooh, Politoed, Kingdra, Reelaboom, Urshifu, the Raichu, and Celesteela. All right, so... My rain answers. I mean, I got a Feeny. I guess I could just gotta watch out for their Reelaboom. I think Reelaboom's the Pokemon I gotta watch out for, but otherwise, I'm pretty solid against it. I think Grimmsnarl Feeny is still a really good lead here overall. I gotta watch out for Cell Seal. Cell Seal does seem annoying. Like him, Cell Seal is really frustrating to handle. Uh, do I wanna bring Lando? Probably not. Doesn't really do too much damage. Reelaboom is tempting. It is pretty tempting. I think Registeel plus Rotom Heat's fine, though, in the long term. Because I'm a bit too worried about the Celesteel, I think, in the long term. And I think setting up Iron Defense could be really good for Registeel. We'll see, though, because I'm not bringing Intimidate, which kind of stinks against Reelaboom, especially if it's a Choice Bandit set. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see here. <laughs> I think the biggest threat is going to be that real boom. I don't think they lead Polytoed Kingdra realistically, but I don't know what they're going to really bring here. They could bring the Raichu. They could bring... I don't know what kind of self seal it is. Uh, if it's weakness Posse self seal with the Volt Switch Raichu, that could be... That could be tough. That could actually be tough. If it's like the Dawn team from Players Cup where he got third with the Rain team, it was either third or fourth. No, I think he got fourth actually. But... If it's still leftover cell still easier to handle. Oh, righteous cell steel. Is this actually a policy? It feels like it's policy. Well, I definitely don't want to steal spike going out into Grim Snarl. So I'm guessing they didn't bring rain. Which means Rotom Heat can come in. I think they're gonna steal spike here. Probably fake out Grim just so uh nothing happens with like trick scenarios or something. I think Rotom Heat's always the play, and I think Calm Mind is safe. Uh, they could T-Bolt. I don't think they are going to. I just hope it's not weakness policy. Is it weakness policy with, like, Volt Switch? Well, I don't think they would go for turn one. They might Dynamax turn one and go for Steel Spike. If it is, I think I already confirmed the item. I think we already know then what it is. Fortunately, I don't have, like, Eerie Impulse on the Rotom Heat to slow down the Celesteela. 
So we'll see. I'm most worried about fake out heavy slam into the Grimstall because I think that's probably the most threatening move they could go for this turn. Uh, with what I have led. They can Volt Switch out into Reelaboom, but at least Rotom Heat kind of covers some positioning. Oh god, they did Dynamax and Celsius. This has to be Weakness Policy now, I think. They definitely changed the team from Weakness Policy. And I don't think I have a way to stop it, unfortunately. I just don't think I do. Let's see. Oh, tackle. I live. That's a crit too. Are you kidding me? Oh, that crit would have been nice because it... Would I have lived with the citrus? Two of them? I kind of doubt it. That's pretty important health. I'll mind with Feeny. Because if they have back rain... I don't think they have back rain though. So I think Feeny is like less valuable though. The airstream to Feeny too. Okay, so they definitely changed the team. I can tell you that much. I think it's Volt switching the policy thing. Oh, which is tough. Oh, no. Do I have a single out? I don't even know if I do. I'm going to go registry on the uh, Meteor. I think. They do Volt switch their own Sully. Yep. For policy. All right, so I can maybe light screen up so I can have Rotom. Maybe Rotom can sweep in the late game because I'm liking what Rotom can do. Should be really boom coming in, I think. It should be really boom. Ollie okay. I get a good amount of chips. Much. They do rock fall, yeah. I'm actually surprised they went Polytoad for that specific reason of them rock falling. But maybe they have Sash or Shifu in the back and maybe they just didn't want to go for it. Okay. So that kind of works out. It's me muddy water for Chip. Not bad, Chip. The only with the Raichu though is going to be really tough. So they flare here most likely. I think Grim is right, and I think I Moonblast a Politoed. I don't know if Politoed attacks or not in this position. I mean protect is kind of useless in this spot. Yeah, protect is useless in this spot. Because they would just knock out to protect anyway. So let's see. It's a very weird position. Rotom Heek though can win. I think they switch out Politoed though, because I think they want to the rain up. Because if I got a free switch in a Rotom Heat and Sun, they'd be in terrible position. So I think they have to switch out Politoed. Yeah, they do. Into Raichu. Okay. Assuming I get the knock on the Raichu now, this is ideal. Please. Rim. Nice. Okay, good. And Grimstall lives too. Perfect. So I can light screen up and start uh, pressuring the... Assuming Moonblast KOs, which I don't know if it will actually, because I don't know if this is Focus Ash or if this is Salt Vest. It might be a Salt Vest. It is a Salt Vest, okay. I do have Fake out of my Grim, though. But they probably have Fake out of Raichu and can just go for Fake out in a Grim and like double up. I guess we go for Fake out anyway, because uh, if they stay in the Raichu, I think it's worth it. I think, yeah, I just double up the Raichu slot again. I mean, no matter what, I think Fake out's going into Grim and I think Flash Cannon and I. Don't think it's... They could double up the Grim too, which I think would be fair. They go for Flamethrower and the Feeny. Okay. Cover the Registeel, I guess, if I want to go Registeel. I wasn't going to go Registeel, though. So they should have Eerie Impulse. I guess it's going to be a mind game now. I think I definitely go Rotom here. And I think I plot up. Because they flamed over my Grimstone 100%. I just don't know what the Raichu does. It either Volt Switches or stays in. I think Light Screen and Nasty Plot's okay here in the spot. Because it covers Polyto... I don't want a Lightning. Because if I Lightning... 
and they volt switch it's such a strange position but because if right you stays in and i lightning it's a bad position if they volt switch into poly tilt flares not to play here because i'm not not get the cell steela i think the play here is a plot so i can knock out cell steel with a plus two afterward let's see get the screen up I do Vault Switch, so I could have uh, Lightning. Alright. Politoed should be coming in. I wonder if it's Parish Politoed. They changed a lot about the team, so if it's Parish Politoed, oh boy, that's going to be problematic. Politoed comes out. Um... Oh, they locked themselves in a meteor beam. All right, I'll go. I'll max guard with the Rotom and switch into Registeel, I think. Unless I want to save with Grim. Do I want to save with Grim? I don't want me taking a burn or something. I think Taunt is fine here. What's that Celsius? That's like plus four, right? Yeah. So I definitely don't take the Meteor Beam if I don't Dynamax. So yeah. Well, I have Light Screen up, so that would actually. But I feel like that's way too much damage for not much reward. Taunt and actually no. I think I'm forced to switch actually. Because I really don't want Parish Endgame messing me up. Yeah, I don't want Parish messing me up. Oh wait, no, that's why I taunted. It would prevent the parish. Oh, I'm just not sure which po move poly to for. Max Guard is 100 percent fine here. It's going to be tricky, though. This uh, end game is going to be tricky because, A, I don't know what they have in the back. It could be, like, uh, Urshifu. Let's see. I really hope they... Do they perish? I think they just go for Muddy Water or anything, something like that. Meteor Beam does come out the Rotom. And Hypnosis. In the register. Okay. Did I not have terrain up? I guess I should have taunted, but <laughs> I'll take it. It did change the team, though. Uh, I guess I could switch out Celsius and Raichu and Hypnosis my thing. I think that would be a very likely play. I think I just Iron Defense, though, and I think I go for Flare. Because if they do make the Raichu play, it's not like I get like too many benefits off this turn by going for Body Press and Polytoed. Because even if they switch Polytoed and Raichu, I guess like if they do switch out Polytoed and Raichu, it works. But I feel like Raichu's coming out because they could absorb the lightning. So I just don't know if they have Hypnosis or not this turn. Because I really feel like Raichu could switch in for Celesteela. And then Hypnosis goes out into the... Uh, into the Rotom Age. And I can't stop that. But they do switch out to Polito. So it looks like it's the Raichu. That's fine. They Meteor Beam again. Which... Okay here. I think plus two Flare even in range should not get Celesteela at the range it's at. Ah, uh, body press was better though. Yeah, I do knock out the South Seal. Perfect. So I've kind of got a good maneuvering. The thing is, can Registeel pull this out? Because I don't know if Registeel is pulling this out. I'm Iron Defensive so I can do more damage later in the long run, but... We'll see. Our Shifu is still going to be really tough to handle. If it is our Shifu in the back. There should be Polytoed coming in. Yep. If it's Kingdra, this is really awkward of a position. I mean, my play, I think, is to Iron Defense Flare? I think it is. I want to KO the Raichu and get rid of this rain if possible. Because they're forced to fake out the Registeel, yeah. And they're probably going to go for Hypnosis into a slot. I just don't know which slot they're going to go for Hypnosis with. Goodbye, Raichu. Hello, sunny weather. Mainly because this sunny weather prevents me, I think, from going down to muddy water here. If they go for muddy water, they went for hypnosis. Okay. Yeah, so Iron Defense was the better play because, um... 
Well, I mean, it didn't matter because they faked out. Oh, that hypnosis is really bad, though. I think that's going to cost us. Because I don't see me breaking through. Well, if it's Kingdra, I guess I win. But it is Urshifu. Yep, Dark Urshifu. Uh... Maybe I should have body pressed that one turn. Would have been huge because I could have lightninged. But I wasn't sure who was switching out. If I just body pressed the regular Polytoad, I felt like it was in a bad spot. Because I body press and I go for T Bolt. Wicked Blow. Let's see if they're banded. Not banded, so Sash. So this is a Focus Sash. Makes sense. They need, like, me to stay asleep, though, with the Registeel. The Registeel, if it wakes up, is pretty bad for them. And they have to hit Hypnosis. But they will. Yep, they always do. Alright, I just need one turn wake. I think a one turn with Registeel seals it up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna body press and I'm gonna T bolt. Wonder how much Helping Hand Wicked Blow does to Registeel. We'll probably do a decent amount. Goodbye, Rotom. Alright, can I uh, wake up with. Registeel, wake up would be clutch. Muddy water, not going to do any damage. They can't perish late game, which is really good if they have perish because of the fact that Registeel is slower. Oh, that's a clutch wake up. Nice. And they can't accuracy drop. Okay, so that's a really nice wake up because that focus ash proc. Oh, amazing. Beautiful. So now I can go for Grim Snarl bring out. Uh, how low is the. Grim pretty low, yeah. I can fake out the Polytoad and go for body press and that will knock out the uh that will knock out. Actually I shouldn't body Do I body press? No, I think I flash can I think flash can's fine. It's the same thing really. Fake out Polytoad in case uh the Yoshifu protects. Doesn't protect, which I'm surprised about, but okay. No helping hand either. We could blow into the Registeel. And the Grim. Alright. I don't think they can win. If they had Scald... Well, even if they had Scald, I was still doing a lot with Body Press, but I think this is an overall win, unless they're going to go for Timer in-game. I just need one Body Press into Polytone. Polytone doesn't get any recovery. So yeah, I'm able to somehow pull this off. I was actually super surprised I pulled this off because... Yeah, I mean... It didn't look good in our favor. I think plus four Body Press should knock out because we're like Impish. We have a lot of defense. They go for Hypnosis. They would have to read like every time it went for body press and protect on the exact moment. That's like what they need to win. They would have to predict everything, but they don't have enough time, I think. Uh, sun phase, which means their muddy waters are doing more, but like, I don't think the Polytoast doing much. Light screen wears off. I, even with all those factors, I don't think muddy waters doing nearly enough. They would need a lot of crazy RNG and if they somehow win this, I'll commend them on that because that would be insane right there. Muddy water, again, a good amount. They have to read it. They have to read if I wake up. If I wake up, they have to protect so they can hypnosis again. And if they don't, uh, yeah. Do a body press. They go for muddy water. Okay. Maybe going for the three turns. Or maybe they're just going to try to get as much damage as possible for timer. I do wake up there. Nice. Body press into Polytoad. Does pick up the knockout Polytoad. And that is going to be good game. Ooh. Maneuvering against that Celesteela was very tough. Like, that Celesteela Dynamax, also the Volt Switch, was really tough to maneuver against as well. Um, but overall, we were just able to pull through, I think. I think with the switches, were really solid. I think, like, I was catching, like, every single move that they were going for, uh, other than Volt Tackle, which did a lot to my Feeny, by the way. That did a lot to my Feeny. Um, but overall, I think I was able to get the position with Rotom Heat at the perfect timing and just, like, start plowing through. Through. end game i guess could have been tougher i think the only other turn that i could have really like really changed the game i think was going for like knocking out the right on the body press that was the only turn i think that could have been like absolutely like 100 percent i think lead wise it was tough because i don't think i have a good lead it depends on what the right set was because i could have fought i could have seen it being eerie impulse too eerie impulse would have made it super annoying i think for my rotom heat if it was eerie impulse uh right you i think i might have just lost the game 
uh, straight away because I don't think I would be able to beat Celesteela. Which is a thing because like off uh, defensively, like the steel types are a bit troublesome to deal with the team. And they're out damaging uh, even with screens. It's a little bit hard to because but setting up to deal the damage is really hard because they could just snowball. But luckily they didn't dare. But yeah, let's find one more game for today's episode. All right, our last game. Interesting team. Tapu Lele, Wimscott, Galarian, Moltres, Incineroar, Dragapult, and the Dracovich. So very scary stuff. Uh, Registeel is really good against their team. I just got to beat down the Moltres and if it's special Pult. But overall, like Registeel kind of walls through a lot of their things, which is really nice. And uh, it's a me to fake tears. Helping Hand could be a factor, though. Uh, Grimmsnarl... Might be a good lead here. Yeah, I think Grimstone is a pretty good lead. I think I think Grimstone Rotom he's actually a pretty solid lead. I don't like Reelaboom too much. It does help out with Registeel getting the grassy terrain, but otherwise, uh, I don't think the glide's pressuring too much because there's three resists. Four resists actually, and not many benefits. Although Lando could be really tempting for Intimidate. I mean, I do bring Registeel 100 percent and then last month I'm thinking it's gonna be Feeny. Because I could quake up with the Registeel, which would be great. So I can like beat down Moltres a lot easier. But I think Feeny can can just kind of win. Because like beats Incineroar. Dracovish. Kind of soft beats the Dragapult. I'm not 100% sure on that. Soft beats the uh, Moltres. And what I mean by soft beat is. I can. Te it technically does well against them. But it's not like a hard counter. Because of course Moltres can do a lot of damage. And so can Dragapult to Feeny. But overall, I do kind of like the odds of us getting the combinations off. I think Source and Lando also would have been super hard to pull off in this game. And they have like Incineroar with Intimidate. They have Dragapult with Max Dragon stuff. I think it would have been tough. We're going to see the Dragapult plus Incineroar lead. Okay, against Rotom and Grimmsnarl. Uh, the problem is I can't fake out the Incineroar because I have no idea who's faster. And I don't like, I wouldn't risk that. Uh, could be Dragon Dance, I guess. If it's Dragon Dance, Dragon Pult, I do want to Taunt. And I think Taunt is like a fair play. I don't need Light Screen up right away. I do want to Wisp the Pult. Yeah, I think I'll Wisp and uh, Taunt is not a bad turn one play. Because uh, I don't see any other move that's really benefiting here. They fake out the Grim, which is okay. Do they Dragon Dance? Light Screen. Oh, it's Support. Okay. Not what I anticipated, but that works out. I am going to be able to Wisp the Pult, and that's pretty good. So, I don't know if it's physical or special, though. That's the problem. I can Nasty Plot up with Rotom pretty freely, I think, upcoming turn. I don't need to... Do I Light Screen here? Just to be safe? I kind of would like more... I, I like as many turns of Light Screen as possible, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to get damage on the Pult because it most likely has a Wisp. And I don't want to get screens up later, and I think I Plot again. I could Spirit Break and Incineroar, but I have no idea... What they're going to go for specifically with Incineroar. Maybe Parting Shot. They could go for an attack. We're actually going to see their Dragapult retreat. Is it, it is Moltres. Okay, so they got the Policy Proc. It's bad if they Parting Shot and Incineroar. Actually, it's bad if they Parting Shot in general, but we'll see. They do Parting Shot the... Okay, Rotom. I guess I have light screen and I still have a Rotom Heat, so it's not like terrible, but the thing is they're going to be a plus one with Moltres, which is concerning. And they have light screen up, so I'm not exactly KOing the Moltres, which is a big factor here. We're going to see the Lele come out. Okay. Light screen's 100% my play upcoming then. If I get rid of Moltres, I think I just win with Reggie, uh, Reggie Steel. Oh, that's more damage than I thought. That's really good damage. Could be policy. Yep. Luckily, I put them outside the Berserk range too. I will 100% light screen this turn. And lightning. I don't want to spirit break here. I kind of want to spirit break, but the thing is Moonblast from Lele knocks my Grimstone out, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that would actually be very concerning if they did that. So. Just get just power through this Moltres. I'll I'll take I'll lose all my resources to beat down the Moltres, I think. Because as long as I beat down the Moltres, should be game over, I think, from them. What's interesting to notice here, Rotom Heat is Dynamaxing. So I don't know if the Moltres didn't Dynamax, maybe it's protecting. I really hope you don't make a greedy play like Nasty Plot, because that would be really bad. <laughs> That'd be really bad for them. 
How fast is the Ronin Heat? Is the Ronin Heat fast? Oh, it's just no Dynamax. They protect. Okay, to get the Berserk boost. All right. Which I won't mind because I do get the light screen up. Uh, is it Ally Switch on Lele? Ally Switch Lele could be a thing. It could be Ally Switch Lele. Here comes the Lightning. Good damage into their Moltres, but unfortunately the Berserk boost. But what's nice is I'm guaranteed to knock out Moltres, I think, afterward. Actually, that's kind of tough to say. I actually might miss the knockout again. They Psychic the Rotom Heat. Okay, so I think they were going to try to go for Psychic into Max Darkness. Oh, they are uh, Life Orb. Okay. I want to call, I want to call Ally Switch so bad here. Actually, why is my Rotom faster than Lele? That's a big question to note. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like that fast on Rotom. Oh, I want to call Ally Switch so bad. You know what? I'll just go for a Lightning into Moltres and I'll Spirit Break the Lele. Because if they ally switch, I don't think ally switch. I think uh, I might live an airstream. All up. At plus two with light screen. I don't know, actually. I think it depends on this Grimstall side, and I have no idea what his spread is. But we do see the Moltres Dynamax. It is very low. I just got to beat down the Moltres. Okay, no ally switch. And I'm faster. So Moltres goes down. Oh, perfect. That's so ideal. So I'm able to get rid of Moltres and now Registeel can just win after one body uh, one iron defense assuming I don't get a uh, crit by the Incineroar or late game. The Moonblast is going to come out. That's a really slow Moltres actually. Like, really slow. Moonblast knocks me out. No surprise. And yeah, this is a pretty ideal turn I think to get in the uh, Registeel. Or should I go Tapu Fini? Um... I think Registeel is okay as a as a play here. They go Incineroar, which is okay. Why is everything on their team slow? I mean, I think I body press. Do I body press T Bolt? Lele could be a bit of a headache. I set up so much for this end game. It'd be a shame if I wasted. It. I think I'm gonna body press Max Lightning. The instant. They might not go hard for Flare, but they might parting shot out my Rotom, which I think would be fair. They figured out the Registeel. Okay. Or a Psychic or Taunt. That's okay, too. Because I don't know why there's slow Moltres and Lele on this team, but I'll take it. They just bury on the... Okay. And they go for Focus Blast. Ah, that actually is a lot less. Oh, yeah, light screen. That was not something I anticipated, though. Oh, boy. That actually makes it a little bit tougher. Because my Lele answers aren't 100%. They were likely on the Dragapult. I think I just double up the Lele at this point in the game. Ah, they could protect. I don't think they're protecting, though. They haven't protected the entire game. They're either going to go for a Focus Blast again in the Registry and got to hit it. Or they retreat. Really good play. Halt. I think that's fine though because assuming they can't get their Lele fast in my Rotom, assuming it's not a speed tie, I think I just plot up the next turn. Registeel is going to go down, which is okay here. Unfortunately, because the Registeel was kind of what I want to Use it to win this game, but it did clutch out the last game, I guess. It kind of clutched out this game too. The Lele was like a standard set. Focus Blast the Dogs, like the most common move in doubles. That's fine. We go uh, Feeny here. Call my Nasty Plot teams correct here. It allows me to help against the Lele. I don't know what Dragon Pokemon can really do to touch these Pokemon. It can't even knock out Rotom Heat. Like, Rotom Heat isn't really like. That offensively pressured unless both it unless the Incineroar has darkest Lariat, I guess, or like an actual attack move, with like good uh investment. So yeah, I'll nasty plot again. In calm mind. But yeah, that was an interesting couple of turn of events. But I mean, overall, I think it's still pretty good for us. I think Ally Switch might be a thing, and also like I guess if we're gonna it might come down to like crits. Specifically Lele. Lele needs to crit me. 
But yeah, I think overall we're in a good spot. They're actually going to retreat to drag opponent to Lele, which is nice for me. I'm assuming what they're trying to do is parting shot out now. I'm assuming it's parting shot here. As we will get a nasty plot off with our Rotom. I just gotta hope for no crit at this point. Please don't crit me with Lele. It'd be very sad with how like how this game started. We had a pretty good, I think, overall position. Party shot does come out into the Feeny, okay. Dragapult's gonna come out. Is Dragapult ally switch? I guess that's a question. Might be ally switch Pult. Because I have no idea what the set on Pult is. I still got a turn of light screen, so I can play aggressive, I think, for this one turn. I think Calm Mind and T-Bolt is fine here. Yeah. I'm going to T-Bolt and Calm Mind. It was Ally Switch. Oh, I should have called it. Oh, well. As long as they don't get a knockout, we're good. And yeah, that lane is just really slow. I guess to abuse the... Ooh, crit? Yeah, crit. We were plus three. Would have done a lot. But it wouldn't have knocked out. But that's all right. Here comes a Calm Mind and a Rotom. Just no crit from them and we should be fine. <laughs> Land of the crits. Ah, that's okay. I think. Ooh, all right. It depends on what I said. I'm a little bit worried now. There's quite a few turns of psychic terrain. Light screen wears off for them. Okay. So that means Moonblast might knock out the Lele. I think Muddy Water is the safest play because I'm worried about Protect Parting Shot coming out. I have plus two special defense. I have two turns of light screen. How many turns of psychic terrain left? Four? Three. I think it's worth to protect this turn, muddy water the next turn, and protect on the last turn of psychic terrain. Since I have one more turn of light screen up, I should be able to work uh, with it. A fake out on psychic terrain. <laughs> psychic. All right, yeah, I'm Muddy Water. I think this just cover. I'm just trying to cover for the parting shot play. I should knock out instant at plus one, I think, special attack. And then afterward, I can protect on the last turn. Assuming no crits, I should be able to knock out Lele with a Moonblast after Muddy Water Chip. Especially if they take a turn of Life Orb or two. It's going to be awkward because I don't know. I don't know if they have Calm Mind. I, I doubt it. Yeah, they do protect Lele. Yeah, trying to, trying to get a parting shot off. This is why I wanted Muddy Water. Hit the instant. Nice. We do hit the instant, and that should be good game. Yeah, it knocks out the instant. Perfect. Like, and now I know it's moveset. Psychic, Focus Blast, Protect, and Moonblast. We saw all four. So now I could just Protect, and I think even if they crit me with Psychic or Moonblast, I should... I think they just have to double crit me. I think they have to double crit me at that point. They might even have to get a special attack drop, too. We have Moonblast, because I think they would go for a crit Moonblast. Moonblast is stronger than crit Psychic. Unless a Psychic into Psychic Spin Death Drop into a Moonblast, which I don't know if that knocks off Feeny. Nah, it definitely doesn't. I'm at plus two special defense, yeah. So they need crits. And that's basically uh, what I got this game down to, but I feel like these are my best odds to win the game right here. I guess I could have played better, like I could have predicted the ally switch, because I did call uh, that they might have had ally switch uh, with what how they were playing it. Psychic. Ah, no crit. But I think it comes down to the next turn because I think Lele should be able to live a plus one moon blast because Lele is pretty bulky. And also, like, if you're not. Ow. I'm surprised because Lele is good for death. They weren't fast on Lele, which was already super lucky for me. Why were they slow? Everything. I guess with Pulse for the bulk, but that is crazy. But. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Good. Registeel unfortunately did not get to really show off, I guess. But overall, pretty good game overall. I mean, oh, Registeel did get to show off in the last game, though, at least. Like, Registeel got a good first... Got the first... Got a great last game. And this game, it could have won. Focus Blast Lele was a little bit on the... Uh, 
<laughs> surprise side because uh i think we would have been in a really good spot if it wasn't focus blast lele because it kind of needed that to hit like break through the uh registeel but overall pretty solid games i think overall i did position for registeel better and i had backup plans i guess the backup plans were necessary though because i didn't expect focus blast lele to come out i think overall getting uh getting a wisp off was pretty good i think the turn one was pretty good i think um Getting rid of the Moltres. Getting rid of that Moltres was absolutely huge, though. That Moltres. Uh, just eliminating the Moltres. The fact it was slower was also beneficial. Because, like, the Moltres did nothing that game. And uh, Moltres could have definitely taken a Mon or two. But luckily with Light Screen, that Spear Break switching was interesting. Uh, but it did get them boosted up right away. But they took a lot of damage. And then, yeah. I think the Protect. They tried to get an extra special attack boost. But at the downside, I think... Uh, Put it in range of max lightning through that protect i think if they dynamax before then i think they would have actually survived which would have been a big game changer but yeah luckily we were able to pull through and that is going to be the end of today's video a little bit disappointed because i set up the registeel to where i wanted it as a win con in the end game for the third game and yet it kind of fell short to the focus blast lele and the flare blitz and Cinder, which i was not expecting but at least we got to show off quite a bit of registeel i think it was a mod that i really thought that was underutilized i really thought this thing had potential in the beginning of the format and i'm really happy to see that eric pulled off some success so again if you want to try out the team there is a rental down below in the description i'll also link the original poke paste as well as the tweet that eric made about the team and of course if you haven't already be sure to leave a like down below leave a comment down below it really does help out with the youtube algorithm and helps my channel out and if you haven't already, make sure you have subscribed to the YouTube channel. You get a lot more content and I'm going to be trying out some new stuff that I haven't done in previous years this year. So make sure if you are looking forward to that, make sure you hit that bell notification as well and make sure you are subscribed. But otherwise, yeah, you can check me out on all the social medias that I have down below, including following my Twitch channel. As I mentioned before, I do live streams. So if you want more action, make sure you go check it out there. Join our community discord and, you know, all those other platforms that I mentioned before. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok subreddit make sure you go check out all of those down below in the description but yeah thank you to everyone who's tuned in and next time we will be using a brand new team but otherwise thank you all for tuning in have a great day people and until we bow again i'll catch y'all later